it's about people. It's about, you know, health, life, limb, some of the things that we hold most precious on this planet. We don't have to take the risk. There are other options. There's nobody that comes in today at Bell Helicopter that came in the gate this morning with the idea that hot dog, it's my day to get hurt. I, I think it's just a, a matter of uh, caring about the guys I work with. My safety is his safety, is their safety, is all intertwined and combined together. It just becomes something that you do every day really without thinking about it. It's just part of your core being and who you are. Doing the right thing and doing that right thing when nobody else is watching. We're with the, our co-workers more, more than we are with uh, our families. Uh, the ability for one individual to say to somebody else, hey, I actually really care about you being safe. Uh, please look after yourself for me. And again, if you see me doing something wrong, please come up and tell me and I won't take offense at that. Uh, that's a great atmosphere to be in. You know, so many people rely on their you know, regulatory programs and their policies and procedures. But those policies and procedures are minimum standards and they're all written in blood. I mean, they, they are there because people have suffered traumatic injuries and, you know, we're hopefully trying to prevent them from occurring in the future. One of the biggest turning points for me uh, was the death of two contractors at power plant I worked at in the UK in the early 90s. Uh, we literally burned two men alive uh, with fuel oil. And that probably was a turning point for many people, certainly was for me. I think I was shocked uh, that we could um, kill two people as easily as we did through a failure of proce procedures, uh, failure of intent really to make things as safe as we possibly could for people who were working on the sites. A defining moment uh, came early in my career, only about six months into the safety profession, when I received a call one night from a company I was working with in Louisiana that we'd had a gentleman fall in the canal and drown. The resultant activities over the next days, weeks and months gave me cause to realize that we needed to do something different. Both I, I had failed to deliver the right message at the right time, get the right points across quick enough, whatever the case may be that we'd missed the opportunity and somebody had actually paid for it with his life. In the ensuing months in the investigation, we saw the impact on the family, on the company, on the fellow employees, and several sleepless nights on my part, thinking about what could I have done differently, thinking about the would have, could have, should have, what if he'd gone that hundred feet to the warehouse and picked up that life jacket that night rather than making the decision not to wear it. It really is a true tragedy that we have to experience these traumatic events in our lives before we, before we change the way we think.